Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about why we have aches and pains, uh, major inflammation, things like that from training, and what to do about it. And what people need to keep in mind when it comes to a lot of these things that hurt, people like my shoulders hurt, um, you know, my, my elbows hurt, my knees hurt, invariably it's usually overuse uh, combined with bad form. And what I mean by bad form doesn't mean necessarily what people on the internet describe as bad form who don't know anything about biomechanics. Um, when we say bad form, examples would be um, half squats, right? Doing half squats to where you stop halfway down, the knees slide forward using a weight that you are not capable of going into a full squat with, right? Combined with weak hamstrings. That's a perfect example of what I mean by bad form. People will say, well, what do you mean? Uh, I thought it's okay for some extent for the knees to go past the toes. Sure, with proper loading. Okay, with proper loading. In my experience over the decades, people who do really heavy half squats, and again, I'm not talking about someone who is capable of squatting, uh, you know, 405 ass to grass, doing really high reps with 365 for half squats. I'm talking about someone who does those half squats with a weight they cannot sink all the way to the bottom. And here's the issue. Okay, it puts sheer stress on the knee with a weight you're not capable of handling. Very simple. Now, if you're capable of dropping with that weight all the way into a deep squat, you have the support tissue to handle it. It's totally different. It's a completely different distribution of the weight. But that is a perfect example of what I'm talking about with bad form. Uh, doing any sort of pressing with unstacked wrists. You know, guys wonder why their shoulders hurt. Then you watch the way that they, you watch their pressing. Okay? If you do a lot of your pressing, uh, like let's say you use dumbbells and you have the pinkies turned up at the top, and then you do those half reps and you're splayed way out. Well, that oftentimes inflames tendons in the shoulder. Okay. If you're doing it with a bar and you don't have properly stacked wrists, what do you mean by stacked wrist? Notice when I'm doing most of my pressing here, the bar is over my wrist bone. And the bar stays directly above my elbow. So look even at that incline there. Notice where the bar is. Is it back up in my palm or is it down over the wrist? The weight is completely over the wrist. That's what I mean by bad form. Right? Bouncing the weight off your chest. Ego lifting. I'm not talking about using a little bit of, of loose form. I'm talking about doing some cheat curls. I'm not talking about using a little body English on rows. It's not what we're talking about. But we're talking about bouncing weights. Bouncing weights off your chest with a bar. Uh, I find actually in some cases half reps on pressing can create some inflammation. But that's a, that's a different topic. Uh, that's not necessarily everyone. So that's what I mean by bad form. Okay, things that are stacking you in a manner that puts sheer stress in a way across tendons or joints that is not healthy for them with a heavy weight. Okay, that's bad form. How about overuse? Particularly with exercises that can cause inflammation. All right, guys are always like, my elbows hurt. Well, you got to start looking at what they're doing for their, their tricep work. They're trying to go too heavy too often with too much volume for isolation movements, if they haven't properly taken the time to build up their elbow tendons, right? You see that and then all of a sudden the guys have to have elbow sleeves, okay? And then they're worried of their pressing hurts. And it's like you're walking out on a press is not what causes elbow problems. That's where you're feeling it. It's overuse. And all of these things cause overuse. Let's talk about that for a moment. How about just doing too much training, particularly with bad form, okay? What is the leading cause of injuries in the weight room? Per the experts, overuse. Overuse causes injuries. It's not necessarily from lifting heavy. How about grinding with terrible form also on uh, top end sets, okay? That can do it, because now we're fatigued, we're getting potential overuse and then we're going into really bad form where form breaks down with a big exercise. That's a problem. People say, well, just avoid those. Just do machines, except you get overuse on machines. How about machines that put you into uh, maybe a slight joint angle that's not ideal? 
You can get away with it to some extent. It's actually probably okay for a certain amount of volume, but you do too much volume with it. You start to accrue overuse. You start getting inflammation. And I can tell you right now, anyone who says something like, oh, my tendons and joints hurt if I don't really warm up. Mm, that's a bad sign. Because I don't do any of that, by the way. You guys will see me come in and squat over 400 pounds, pull over 500 pounds. I do like two warm-up reps before I do that stuff. Notice I didn't say sets. I'm 47 years old. I don't have those pains. Think about that for a moment. So when people want to talk to me and say, you don't know what you're talking about with this, really? You see me doing all this stuff right now with no sleeves, no wraps at 47 years old. I don't have anything that hurts right now. Okay? Sometimes my forearms and stuff hurt just from all the grip work. All right? Occasionally my biceps. It's doing a lot of curling right now. But it's not the same aches and pains, is it? All right? If you're using wraps and sleeves to deal with pain and inflammation, you've got a problem. Those are not a correct fix. The moment you feel the need to put a sleeve over a joint, the damage is already done. Like if, if that's what it takes for you to not feel pain, it is time to step back and seriously think about your workloads your volumes, what your form looks like, your muscle balances, because that's not normal. And I want to be clear here. I am doing this at 47 years old without those tools. I am telling you it is not normal to have those pains just because you're lifting some moderately heavy weight. In my case, moderately heavy, you know, 315 on a bench, you know, or 450 on a squat, 550 on deadlifts moderately heavy weight. Okay, you shouldn't be having these problems. If you're having these problems at 30, again, it is time to seriously reassess what you were doing with your form, with your fatigue management, with your training volumes. You have overuse problems, possible muscle imbalances, probable really bad technique that is putting you at angles that are putting too much stress on joints or tendons. Okay. Those are not the solution. In fact, that's, that's when you're gonna really get hurt down the road. When you're wrapping and sleeving up stuff because it hurts, because it cuts blood flow off a little bit. People, that's what we're like, oh, it makes it warm. No, it doesn't, it cuts off blood flow. Ooh. So that it's numb and you don't feel it as much so you can push through the pain. Again, Need to look at what you're doing something is very wrong at that point and it shouldn't be that way we don't have to get hurt doing this stuff all right guys but that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i'll talk to you guys next time